previously, we downloaded and printed from Thingiverse a KVCC main magnet model, and we printed the model in a single color. In this video, we're going to learn how to print a model in two or more colors. In Bamboo Studio, we'll click to add a model, and we'll choose the main KVCC.stl model. Next, we're going to click Slice Preview, and we'll close this menu. And I'm going to zoom in, sliding two fingers on my MacBook laptop touchpad. And I'm going to use the slider on the side to figure out when to change the colors. So we want all of the main portion of the print, the model, to be one color. And we want the letters to be a different color. So let's see layer 14 perhaps and to determine for certain i'm going to use the slider at the bottom and that shows us the movements of the nozzle on that particular layer number 14 and we can see that the main map portion topographic portion of the print is not completed so i'm going to use the up arrow on my keyboard to go up one more layer to layer 15 and do the same thing and we see at the very top of the topo map there's still a piece that's being printed on this layer. So I'll slide all the way to the end, use the up arrow key on my keyboard to go up one more layer to layer 16, and now I'll look at this layer. And it appears from start to finish that the only thing being printed on layer 16 is KVCC. Okay, so we know we want to change colors at layer 16. That is, we want to pause the printer at that layer. So I'm going to move this plus arrow all the way up to the top. And then I'm going to drag the bottom arrow up to layer 16. Then I'm going to right click and choose Add Pause. Now I'll go back to Prepare and Reslice by clicking Slice Preview. And that should do it. That back down. If these white dots appear on your print and they're distracting, you can get rid of them. The white dots indicate the layer shift or the change in layers. So each time the print moves from one, one layer to the next, that's where the layer change happens. And we can get rid of those dots if they're distracting. You see where it says seams here. We'll click the checkbox and those white dots will disappear. Now on my keyboard, I'll hit Control G to export the G code. I'll change the name to main to color, and I'll add the time, 16 minutes, 43 seconds, I'll say 17 minutes. Save this file to my SD card, eject the SD card, plug it into the printer, load the first color. In my case, I want the base color to be blue, so I'll load the blue filament, start the print in the usual way, and then when the printer reaches layer 16, it will automatically pause, allowing me to change the color and we'll see what that looks like in a little while. The printer has paused and is waiting for us to change colors. I'll tap to wake up the screen. The message says, printing was paused by the user. You can tap resume to resume the print job. I'll tap close and I'll tap the back arrow and I'll tap filament and I'll tap unload. The message on the screen now says, please remove the filament from the extruder. If you're using an AMS later, please connect the PTFT tube to the coupler and tap ready. I'm not doing that, so I'm going to remove the filament now. Now I'm going to load my second color. I push it as far in as I can. Now I'll tap load. It says push new filament into the extruder. I wasn't quick enough to feel it, so I'm going to tap retry and just put my fingers in the back. I can feel it, so it is indeed being brought into the extruder. So I can tap done. Load is completed. So I'll back up and I'll tap the green resume arrow. And I'll close this tip. And the print will resume with the new color. And there's the two color print. 
you can see that it's much more striking than just printing with a single color. Now I could have printed a plate full of these KVCC main magnets all at one go, but for demonstration purposes, I just have the one print here.